Hi students, we are at the collegeboard.org website, a great place to do a college search, and I'm going to show you how to complete a college search. You're going to click up here on the arrow, and over here under Access, you will see College Search. And this is what the page will look like. If you're a student who is considering other options after high school, such as the military or going straight into job training, a college search can still be relevant for a few reasons. One is that students change their mind. Another is that not all students are eligible for military service, in which case you might want to think about going into college for an education. Also, the military often offers discounted or free education during your time in the military. So you might want to research what kind of education you would like to pursue, what kind of major you would like to pursue, especially if the military is going to be paying for it, which would be awesome. Um, and some jobs will require you to get college, or even if they don't, um, you might be able to get higher pay after getting a college education. So when doing a college search, you can fill in the indicators here that are important to you. If you fill them all in, you will get zero results. It's too picky. I'm going to put in the ones that I suggest putting in so that you get enough results. We're going to start with type of school. If you know you want a community college or a vocational training school, you put two year. If you know you want four year, put that. You can also choose both if you're not sure. I tell students to either leave this part blank or choose public and private. Um, for-profit institutions are not recommended. Um, I would leave this blank. Um, and this, um, you can choose all women if that's important to you, um, but if not, I would just leave that blank. Or put, put co-ed. Um, and you can X that out. The next thing that's pretty important is location. Even if you do not know yet, where you want to go to college, what area you'd like to be in, if you want to be close to home. I suggest putting something here to rein in your search. If you have the whole country, you're going to get a lot of results. It's a little overwhelming. So you can put how close to home you want to be, or you can choose um, regions. So we're in New England. You could click New England. Um, and under there, there's states and territories. So maybe I want New England but I'm also interested in, um, you know, let's see, uh, Florida, because I have family there. Okay, so you can do like a whole region and a state, or you could just choose Massachusetts if you want. Um, leave that blank. Majors and learning environment. If you have a major that you're considering or interested in, this is an important one to put, even if you're not completely decided. You want to make sure that you attend a college that has a number of options that you would be interested in. Um, so you could put in a couple majors, um, specific majors, so you'll start to type it in. So let's say I like the sciences, but I don't know what I want to major in. I'm going to put in a number of different types of sciences so that I know that I'm looking at colleges that offer a number of science majors. So I put physics, chemistry, biology. You might put um, engineering, thing, et cetera. Um, there are some things here that you may want to put, such as study abroad if you know you want to do that, or ROTC if you know that you want to do that. Um, so there are some things here that might be important to you. English as a second language if you're learning English. Um, that's it there. I think that's going to be it for us. Um, the last one that you might want to put something in is sports and activities. If you are planning on playing a sport in college or there is something specific such as band that you know you have to have, you would select those things here. Diversity, I don't think, um, you can try putting it in, but I will show you how to look at this once you're checking out the colleges. This might limit it too much. Okay, so I did a search. I have 78 results. That's a lot. Um, it's not too many. Fewer is better. So I am going to choose a college and we will look into it together. Okay. Clark. 
Um, there's always a link to the website of the college, which is eventually where you'll go to look into a college more. But some useful things on here, majors and learning environments. So they have most popular majors and all majors. Um, so a bachelor's degree if it's a four-year college. They have master's degrees here. If you have a two-year college, um, it'll offer an associate. But you might want to look at the majors and see what they're offering. Um, I like to look at, let's see, campus life. Student body. This is where you can look at the diversity. We'll have the ethnic and racial breakdown here. So if you're looking for um, a larger black population or Hispanic population, um, that would be here, um, as well as the gender breakdown. This will also give you activities and sports, which might be important to you. Applying will give you an idea of what type of grade point average they're looking at. As ninth graders, you might not know a lot about that yet but you'll be learning about that and it can be a good motivation to try hard to do the best you can in school if you really like a college. So academics and GPA, if you scroll all the way down, they'll tell you the incoming grade point averages of their freshman class. Um, they'll do that for SAT scores too. Um, and then I like to look at paying because um, I'm gonna show you a nice number. Some students think college is too expensive for them. I like to go to financial aid by the numbers and instead of looking at how much a college costs, I look at this number, percent need met. That tells you how good their financial aid is. If that number is over 90%, it means they get pretty good financial aid, which means that even if this college is really expensive, if um, you're needing a lot of money to go to college, they're likely to provide you with a lot of that money in the form of grants and scholarships, loans, etc. So even if you're nervous about the cost of college, this might be a college worth putting on your list or having on your radar because they give good financial aid, okay? And so um, you can go back to your list and you can look at more colleges. Um, you, uh, yeah, we don't have a login right yet, so we won't save it yet. Um, and check out different colleges. And if you really like them, go to their website and check them out more.